the winning feature shows uh, a mother of Steamback taking care of the of the names after they chat. This moment is so special because it's not so common the paternal care, in this case maternal care in, in insects. And for me, it shows some similarity uh, with humans that it's important because we used to see insects like really far from, from, from us and at the end they are quite similar to us. The funny thing is that this stingback is a pest in South America because they feed on the sap or on the fruits of some plants and the problem is not uh, that they feed on the sap, but they are the vectors of some diseases like uh, some bacteria or some virus that kill the plants and trees. These insects are really important in the ecosystem because they are part of the food chain and also uh, they work as, as a pollinator. This photo was taken in the Yasuni National Park, that is the most biodiverse place on Earth. And in order to enter to the Yasuni National Park, you must get a canoe for two, almost two hours and during this journey through the river you can see a lot of wildlife, a lot of different birds and the most amazing thing is the vegetation around the river. You can see huge uh, trees uh, that can reach 50 meters of uh, tall. So when you enter for the very first time in these jungles, you feel like you are in the Jurassic World. For me, go to the rainforest is like go to a candy shop for a kid because in just one meter you can find more than 10 species and this is something unique and only in this place in the Yasuni National Park you can find more than 100,000 species of arthropods so it's, it's, it's amazing and even if you go at night during the day you find different stuff so for me, it's really important to show to the people all these different animals that live here because when we used to think on the Amazon, uh, the first animal that came to us uh, is the jaguar or the dolphin or the hard eagle. But nobody thinks about all these small animals. So I think it's important uh, to give them the importance they, they have uh, because the Yasuni National Park, as well as any other rainforest, is nothing without these insects. And most of the biodiversity of this area is because of the insects and not for any other animal. Unfortunately, this area is threatened by the oil companies that are extracting the oil from, from the ground. And during the last decades, uh, many companies have been operating in different blocks inside and outside of the Yasuni National Park. We need to stop drilling in the park and invest in activities such as the tourism that can bring more money to the local and indigenous communities that live in the, in the park and it will help to save nature. Remote areas like the Tiputini, uh, where I took the photo, are not remote anymore because of the oil companies that have constructed uh, new roads that attract other threats like the pollution of the air, the water, or even the uh, hunting pressure. Right now, the Yasuni National Park is in a crucial moment because we are transitioning to a more renewable energy that can stop the uh, oil extraction in the, in the National Park. The winning picture reminds me to the actual uh, situation in, in the Yasuni National Park because we see a mother taking care 
of the eggs, a species that is considered a pest because they drill the sap of the of the plant like we drill the oil from the ground and at the same time they open the the, the plant uh, to the entrance of new bacteria or virus that kill the plant we open the Yasuni National Park to other threats like they do so instead of uh, the eggs we take care of the oil instead of uh, take care of the biodiversity of the place. I think my photos can help to make people think about what they can lose if we are we don't save the national park. Because at the end, if we look at the numbers of the biodiversity, more than 100,000 of the species uh, are insects and arthropods. And all the rest of the animals uh, are there because of these insects. So if we don't save them, we will not have anything.